Welcome to episode 22 of my Stationeers Europa playthrough. Originally this episode was part of episode 21. I'd hoped to complete that build and reach a natural break within around an hour to an hour and a half. However, in the end it turned out to be over two hours and so I found a reasonably natural break around about halfway through to split this into two episodes. The build will continue past this episode as well, there is quite a lot of complexity, um, but hopefully you'll find it interesting. Right, so we can make some more shoots. Um, may as well get that done, to be honest. There's sort of no downside. Uh, I should have ejected some copper, but didn't. sure there's much else I can make until I get some more electrum again. Hunger critical. Right. Okay, nearly there. So again, it's another big build, but um, I don't think we'll get it all done in one episode, but getting there. Um, I should move those from there to jump over them every time. Uh, right, back into the storm, I guess. There's not much else to be done in here. turned off for a minute because I really don't want it to make the electrum and have it blow away at high speed down there. Hopefully it won't be going on too much longer. Uh, right now. Figure out whether there's somewhere here that I can put a bypass to feed in uh, like there's some dirty ore there. It's as simple as an inlet. If I go the right way around. Okay. Uh, yes, probably just an inlet there and then take one of those out. Let's grab that. Uh, but I need the storm to finish. Oh, as if by magic. Right, and then what I'll do is take that one out and replace it with a um, junction. few in the pipe. Because the problem is really no space for them to fit in at the moment, but at least there's now a mechanism to feed. Where did the other one go? Yeah, jetpack low, I get it. Fuel. At least having just had a storm, I shouldn't have another one for a little while. Oh, and the lights come on, and the lights go off, and the lights come on. That 
needs to actually be on long enough to properly fill, doesn't it? Well, it doesn't need that much more than that in there to make electrum. There we go. Nice. Thank you very much. That's another 12. Right. Silver come through while well, I wasn't here. Doesn't look like it. No, okay, right. Um, yeah, this is one too far forward. Thought it was. Correct. Uh, no, that's. Pr uh, I can't work out if it needs to come one further back. To be there. In fact, it needs to be not through the wall, so there. Um, I have to turn it back on again. I was hoping to avoid it. There. I'm going to put the first of the filters in there. Then I think I need to go five. One down. There needs to be space here for one to come down, but there needs to be enough space at the other side of the furnace for one to come back up. So I think it's something like this. furnace is actually going to be a bit further along than I'd hoped, but it's something like that. Um, oh, there's stuff landing in here. Problem is, can I even hit vent? Yes, I can. Right, so that should come flying out over here for now. It's fine. I'll take that because I need some more copper. Right, we got any silver? Nice if there was. Then I need to go and deal with my starvation again. Ah, damn it, there was, but I don't know if I can even hit the button to scroll back. No, I can't. How incredibly annoying. Right, I'll take the gold. I know I've got some on me, but I'll take that anyway. And then there's the silver. Oh, one. Amazing. Okay, well, that was worth it, wasn't it? Right, again, I need the means to bypass that chute. Now, right, well, it really is down to every last little speck I can get at this point, so I'm going to throw that in there and throw that in there. And, uh, well, I'll leave it be, I suppose, for now. Right, uh, Now, I 
do know that oh, actually there's no point in worrying too much about what I'm going to need for the furnaces yet is there because I haven't actually got any furnaces so I do need a pipe uh, pipe analyzer but I need loads of other stuff before I get to that stage right um, I'm going to need some more so let's get this copper going right um, so we're going to need uh, 9, uh, 11 at least IC chips. I need another at least two more IC housings. At least another f four memory. Um, just to get going. I haven't even thought about how I'm going to hook up the fuel supply to the furnaces either. So, uh, oh, and I'm going to need LEDs and all sorts, aren't I? Okay. Um, see housing okay we need copper um, what do we need for the actual first advanced furnace whoops helps if I'm connected when I type doesn't it advanced furnace uh, copper a little bit more steel I actually have nearly got enough okay that's good um, all right, well that steel can just get in there it's kind of in the way anyway right I need to go and eat um, because this will be annoying you guys as much as it's already annoying me. Right, that's good. Oops, that was not quite what I wanted to do. Hunger, caution. I don't really want to eat all that rice. Oh, look at this, this is definitely coming along now. Look, potato seeds. Everything's thriving. Soybean seeds. Nice. Had some more Iceland. Not to be confused with Iceland. Um, it was funnier in my head. Uh, right, okay, if I need to, I could harvest some potato. Um, that's going towards seeding, so I'd rather not. That one is done its seeding though, so I could. question is do I eat this one or do I plant it? I think it's an eat it. Yeah. Ding. Tasty. Okay, look at that, 91% on my uh, hunger. Okay, that is good. That is about the best day I think I've been in so far. This little farm is definitely starting to look a lot better now. Um, we will expand it further. I'll put more, another run of these on this side. Um, and obviously run it all the way to the end, but uh, for now, that's decent. Um, yeah, there's enough pipe to get the next stage built at least. Okay, good. Well, let's go back outside and see what I can finish off before I run out of time on this episode. Um, the answer is honestly probably not very much. It's gone on a little longer than I'd hoped already. Um, more of this build done I'd be very happy. Right, uh, that literally has nearly got enough actually. Advanced furnace. Um, although I'm still short quite a lot of chips so actually how much use is the furnace? Um, not sure yet. Um, let's uh, see about 
the rest of the memory, so I'm going to need four of these for the first furnace. Um, yeah, okay, I'm going to make these because this is going to allow me to start to understand how to lay out the cabling and stuff around the furnaces. Um, Uh, we've got 64 steel left up there, okay, that's good. Okay, I'm going to two of these. See, so it needs a hell of a lot of resources to get this working, but on the other hand, once it is working, um, well, in theory, once it's working, um, effectively, raw material production is heavily automated and I can just go and say, click some buttons and say, give me this stuff. Um, right, the next challenge is going to be... Um, that actually I can hardly make any chips and guess what, it's more electrum that I'm going to need. Right, I will have a lights kit though because I'm going to need some of those, at least one LED for each furnace. Um, Right, I need a pipe analyzer, but I can't do much with that yet. Um, okay, let's. Uh, I can make a couple of IC tens. Um, Power critical. Right, probably the smart thing to do is to make a couple of these. Um, they can be configured to drive the furnace, then make the furnace that will make alloy production easier. Um, go from there. I'm trying to work out whether there are any parts of the system that are actively helpful um, before the rest of it's done. What have I run out of? Oh gold. Okay. That I can fix. Albeit for a fairly uh, heavy duty to do something with those, I keep kicking them, don't I? Power drain, right, let's put that in there. Let's put that in there. How much gold do I need? Actually, quite a lot. Incredibly, we're already back through the first battery, but I suppose I'm burning it up at the moment. Just gonna leave that to go and uh, get some stuff put together outside. Uh, 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 I keep thinking there's something in there that I can use, and I can't think what it is. So I think it's probably just my imagination or wishful thinking. Why did I bring the chip without actually putting any code on it? That was stupid. Um, right. Let's see if there's any more silver, because if there is, that's nearly ready to go. Nice. Oh, six, an actually decent amount. Trying to fit through that side, and I don't quite fit, do I? Right, so that's six. So I need six gold to go with. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's not going to work until I light that, but hopefully, once I do it, melt pretty quickly. Okay, that's not going to. No. 
did not give it enough, but nonetheless, there should be some coming out shortly. Right, okay, good. Um, I've got some down there, I could have, whoops. If I lob that in the corner, I'm ready for the next lot. I don't think there was any more in there, but... No, there was not. I could do get rid of that uranium, though. It's no use to me. I'll put a filter in in future, I think, to separate that out. Right, um, go away. Okay, so now I'm thinking about furnace hardware. I actually think I may have to put some of this on the floor, because I think I'm going to run out of wall space. Bearing in mind, I'm going to have all along here, and not huge gaps, or not very accessible gaps between them. Behind I'm going to want to run gas pipes, so I think that's probably the only smart solution at this point, um, is to probably put a pair of them there and there, and then a set of memory down here to three, four, so I think that's probably about how we'll have to configure it. Um, and then we'll put a light on the wall um, roughly above each one, I guess, makes sense. Um, yeah, that'll do. Right, where did I put the cable? It's over there, isn't it? Oh, I've got that much left, actually. I thought, ah, oh, I've got loads, but no, I have not. Uh, right, one, two, that's going to need to come along here. It's going to need to go, let's just do that. And then let's go that. That, and like that. Um, Yes, never going to have enough to get anywhere, but uh, actually that's going to need to drop down, isn't it? Um, thinking about, oh, what am I doing? Um, I'm going to need to connect up to these somehow. Okay, I think I probably just need to see where those land, to be honest. Right, get in. Right, okay. Right, so that's starting to come together. Um, so let's um, start to do this. So I'm going to call that IC Furnace 1 Control. That IC, oops, Furnace 1 Adaptive. And then that's going to be memory furnace one. Uh, it's pressure and temperature, so I'm going to call that TP. Although actually it's pressure and temperature, but that's fine. Mem, whoops, memmy. Um, that's his friendly name. Furnace one um, hash. And uh, that's going to be uh, mem furnace one scale. That's going to be uh, mem furnace one peak. Okay, so this is, we'll put the two ICs to control the furnace in there. Obviously, the furnace itself will go in roughly in that slot. Um, but these two, the control, effectively we use these two, that will tell it the temperature and pressure it's aiming at, and the hash that it's looking to make, so it knows when it's made it. And then these two are used by the adaptive controller to measure the um, gas flow scale that's required 
to get the right pressure and that will adapt over time based on ambient temperatures and that sort of thing um, and then this memory here is used to, to memorize the peak flow it achieved last time uh, and then they also write some values onto these two um, so that's those um, so what else do we need that's going to be the router that three there are going to be the reagent lookups um, then we're going to have one in here which is the uh, the translation layer transformation layer that will take the um, coding that's required to be sent to one of these furnaces we have one in here that's the multiplexer to decide which furnace obviously initially there's only one uh, we're going to have the one up there we'll take the Q from the buttons which effectively is reading from the top one up there and the top one up there is going to be continuously polling those buttons to see what I've pressed um, and if I spam a button it will queue up in here and pass into the button queue which will then release one at a time as we're ready to actually process it and then these memories are all in various combinations going to be used to transfer data between different components in that stack so that's the plan um, and obviously in amongst that the one in here will uh, tell this to pick something, vend the right amount, send it round, it'll program up some flip-flop shoots here uh, to direct it to the right um, output um, and um, everything will be beautiful. That's the plan. Um, all I need now is a hell of a lot more Electrum. subject of which I don't think any more landed while I was in here but I'm gonna have a quick look. No more electrum, no more, no more silver. Okay well you know that's how it is. Um, there is enough to make 14 in there though isn't there? Why is that not empty? Why is it taking so long to empty suddenly? Is this tank like super full? It just feels like it's taking forever. Okay, well, can't be helped. Uh, right. Okay, we've still got a bit of filter capacity left on there. Quite a limit to what I can do until I've got enough chips, really. Um, and at least one furnace would be amazing. Um, what I can do is make some more cable. Um, right, I needed more gold, so that's going straight in there. Make another chip. Okay, so let's get started with some of this at least. Um, yeah, I'm going to have enough in there just to make one more, aren't I? Um, so let's, um, let's import that. I'll just flush it, edit, library. Now I'll put all these scripts up on the workshop, but um, the first one I'm going to load up here is the... Um, one that controls the actual furnace. So this is a modification of the advanced furnace control and this is advanced furnace control automated. Um, so the original advanced furnace control relied on a dial. This is going to use this MemTP which is going to take a, a well a pressure and a temperature in the format of uh, two digits worth of pressure and three digits after the decimal place that represent the temperature um, although actually it could be more if you if you need it to um, and the reason that it is done like that is to use one device because you can see we're actually already using 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 so there are no more pins left so I've combined temperature and pressure but having combined them on here when I then built out the rest of the system we're going to constantly pass temperature and pressure as a compound value and the furnace control script is going to split it back out when it gets it. Uh, the code to actually do that is all the way down here and what we do is we take the number 
and um, we take the uh, modulus when we uh, divide it by one, which gives us the bit after the decimal point, um, which is the temperature, and then we multiply that by 10,000, um, because that's uh, how that's configured. Um, and we take that, before we've done that multiplication, we take it off, so we end up with just the integer part, the other side, and we multiply that up by 100 to get the pressure. The reason that we multiply the pressure up is what that means is most of the time we are passing um, two numbers before the decimal point and three digits maximum after it. If you pass four before and three after, you find that because it's a floating point number, you lose accuracy and you get a really strange, really long number, which just makes it a nightmare for the rest of the logic to work. So um, I'm not going to uh, give a full blow by blow on this piece of code. I've, I've talked it through in some detail on the uh, Mars playthrough, but uh, basically this is a cyclical piece of code. Um, as I say, it has been slightly modified um, to work without user input, direct user input. But basically uh, it detects whether or not it's uh, it's got anything to do. So it goes in, starts off in, uh, in quest mode where it's basically turned off doesn't need to do anything if it detects it's got stuff in it or it's got an instruction in the temperature and pressure setting um, then it will uh, begin to fill um, and run a fill cycle until it gets to the temperature it calculates it will need um, to be at to ignite um, so there's a, a set, sets up the fill and then it runs a loop here um, to actually fill it up until it calculates down that pressure um, it will then uh, once it reaches that pressure um, it will then uh, light it there's an initialization piece here that calculates what pressure it needs um, uh, to, to have I'm gonna have to change my air tank um, and then it goes into a cook cycle where it cooks the ingot and then um, it then cools down and empties uh, and runs so let's put that in there let's export that to there and then I'd better go and fill up my air tank before I suffocate because that would be an embarrassing way to go um, yeah okay everything's going wrong I get it I get it uh, right get that in there uh, right da -da -da -da. And that across there okay um, so then the second part of the system uh, and these are at effectively a furnace level the second part of the system then is a companion chip to that um, which uh, this code is oops when it catches up this code is uh, largely untouched you'll see there's a whole bunch of these advanced furnace uh, these are the ones that we're going to need you can see how many we are going to need to make it work um, however this one is the one we want the adaptive controller again this is largely unchanged from the 2022 code in fact I think this might be entirely unchanged from the 2022 code um, so let me just load that up um, and you'll see what this roughly does this monitors uh, in fact yeah this is the 2022 code this actually monitors um, the um, the chip that's running the furnace, the advanced furnace controller chip, um, and um, it's got two the two linked memory chips. Uh, I set them up slightly weirdly on pins one and five for whatever reason. Um, but what it tries to do is to say what temperature this chip reports it was trying to get to, and that calculates through uh, monitoring the peak value it actually got to. Um, and then it uses um, a, uh, an adaptive learning model in here to um, try to adjust the uh, rate of flow that will be required to get it so that the next time around it will be a bit more accurate. Um, it's never exact and it will never completely settle because obviously the outdoor temperature um, is going to be changing uh, in between each time it's lit and some ores may off gas or uh, have other effects inside but the idea is to try um, to make it slightly more um, predictable each time it runs that it will actually get the temperature you want now in the interest of actually being able to tell what the hell is going on with these chips I'm going to um, colour up the furnace one here um, in red um, 
and if I've got some blue I'm going to colour up the other one in blue but if not um, I'll do that in a minute. We're going to end up with basically using every colour known to humanity um, I think to make this work but uh, okay that's fine. Right, so at the moment we don't have a furnace to connect these two. Of course, that's the uh, the critical critical piece of hardware that's now missing, um, combined with obviously all the ancillary uh, stuff like uh, pumps and that kind of stuff, uh, and pipes and fuel. Um, but at least let's get these two out there and installed. Um, you can see the direction we're going in. I mean, at this point, we're, we're well over time, um, and uh, clearly this is going to be a two-episode build uh, minimum um, from here. But, uh, oh, look, some more Electrum there. That's always good. I uh, didn't realise I'd left that on. Actually, that was not, not ideal, but okay. Um, so, yeah, we will run fuel lines in that side and all the rest of it um, in a bit. Um, but, yes, for now, we'll get these in, and that at least allows me to... Um, just connect up some of these bits um, notwithstanding as I say we are missing the actual furnace um, get out the screwdriver there's going to be a lot of uh, screwdriver work I think before this is finished so there's no furnace to connect yet and there's also no pipe monitor because that monitors the temperature of the incoming pipe uh, the LED is up there but it's not yet connected actually I can't connect very much of this at all can I can however connect that uh, memory uh, TP. Uh, that was the wrong way to go around the loop because there's all the buttons that are yet to be named. Um, mem furnace one. Come on, mem furnace one TP, and mem hash will be mem furnace one hash. And that is going to point at the scale chip from the adaptive controller. And then that is going to point at the I see, I'm not sure which way is better to go around this at this point. Uh, that one. And that is going to point at the uh, scale. Oops. And that is going to point at the peak. Okay. That one is actually nearly ready to go. And the thing it's missing is it needs the furnace connecting. Okay. Right. Well, that's the start. So we can see that it set the scale to one successfully. So it did start to initialize before it went wrong um, okay so each furnace is going to have a setup like this there's going to be a furnace there's going to be that there's going to be one shared uh, pipe analyzer that we'll put on the input pipe somewhere down there um, which these will all be connected to but effectively this set of chips here is going to be replicated three times um, and this slot up here will just exist once um, and then the other thing I can start to do is to actually label up these buttons so um, just thinking the best ones to use it. So I'm going to call that one Request Iron and uh, Request Copper. They feel like good places for um, that. It's fairly accessible. We'll call that one Request Gold. Gold. Um, the next most common we're likely to use is probably out of the base ones is probably Silicon. Whoops. And then we're into the ones we're unlikely to use, like uh, request silver occasionally. Request nickel almost never. Oops. Request lead almost never. That's going to be request steel. Uh, actually, I'm going to make that solder up there. And I'm going to make that request steel. You'll see it doesn't really matter which one's which. Request electrum and request invar and 
request. Constantan. There we go. Right. So it doesn't actually matter where we call where we put these. The code's set up to look for buttons called request each of these things. Um, and there are still spaces for the other five on the end there. Um, but we could label anything however we want. Um, and that that that'll be fine um, as long as the labels match or send the code when we get to that point. Um, which I'd love to show you, but that's clearly not going to happen until we can make some more chips. Um, oh, we're a little way away from that. Uh, well, I suppose we said they could probably make one more chip, but uh, it's not hugely exciting, is it? See how we get on. Uh, right, let's um, throw that in there. Oh, we actually could make a furnace if I get some copper. I did not expect that. Uh, that would be. Well, mind you, then I've got to build all the other stuff that goes with the furnace. Um, all right. Alternatively, I can make one more chip, which itself is no use. So um, I think we'll have to do most of the rest of the programming work next time. Uh, I'll get a furnace at least installed and then we can see whether it all fits together. And then we're going to call it a day on this episode because my clock says I'm at 1 hour 49. I thought so I was about 1 hour 19 at most. Um, so... Uh, that will do for this one um, and then hopefully next episode we can finish this build subject to getting um, enough materials because we already get some utility out of this in that um, you know having identified that I need some copper I can just whoops come out here and manage to miss the uh, copper that's in there um, come out here and actually uh, get some copper um, and we're not terribly far away from being able to um, go. Actually smelt it. Um, there we go. Well, that's a start. Um, let's see whether we can get... Actually, I might as well get some more uh, uh, iron going while I'm here, might I? Thinking about it, because we're going to need some more shoots. I've got to finish that and close it up. Which is going to need two stacks worth of iron, I think. Uh, 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 no more in there. No, right, okay. Right. Uh, I wonder whether we can feed those in yet. Probably not. I suspect there's probably still one sitting on top, isn't there? Oh no, there's not actually. Okay, well, it's just something for next time. Um, right. Okay. Let's get that in there, get that in there, and get that in there. Okay, well, while that's busy doing something there, and um, before we get to the end, I am going to. Make sure I'm at least fed and watered so that when I start the next episode I don't need to remember to do that. It helps if you open the helmet before trying to drink, doesn't it? Right, uh, food's at 41% which I think is fine for now. Ah, the corn is uh, getting ready to... Let's go towards seeding. That is ready and will be planted. There we go, soybean seeds. Lovely. Don't need too many soybeans, but we do need some for the oil. Uh, potato, 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 potato. Uh, no more seeds. No. Okay, that's fine. Those are barely growing, and I think that's because they're too far from the grow light. But okay, that's actually starting to look like a halfway decent crop now. I'm going to let those uh, flower. Good. Right. Uh, nearly went out without shutting my helmet. That would have been unfortunate and deadly.
bump. Okay, thank you. Right. Let's make that. And the cable. bound to need steel sheets to make but uh, luckily we have some steel so that is good uh, I have a feeling I also need electronics in fact I'm almost completely certain they need electronics Shoots. Efficiently. There we go. Right. Um, I know I just looked, but let's just double check what we need for powered shoots because I'm going to need three of them. Uh, a little bit of iron. It's mostly the electrum, isn't it? Of course it is. Everything's always about the electrum. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, electronic parts. I think we need some of those. Advanced. Uh, one electronic parts, five steel sheets. Right, okay, that's fine. Let's get those going. Cable is never going to be enough, but it is a start. Right, and I, then I really need to finish this episode. Um, I'm going to end up going over two hours, aren't I? And I forgot to make that cable white. Have I put this in roughly the right place? Just figure out 
how far yeah that's not great but that'll just about fit and I need it I think I need it one offset because by the time I've allowed for oh, come on shoots to come down and back up that's too tight in I think uh, no actually that would work right let's do it let's do it there right let's put those in and I have a feeling it's a wrench in fact but it was possibly no it's a welding torch Hunger, caution. Okay, we're in business nearly. Advanced furnace one, because we're going to have several. see whether I've got this in even vaguely in the right place. That's really a bit too far along. Um, um, means I'll have to run it down and back on itself, but that's okay. I've seen worse setups marginally. That goes. Come on, in there. Up there. Um. There we go. And then obviously we'll have something on the output side there. Here, this will come back around like this. Okay, um, so if I can get that to connect along there. the bit that we're absolutely critically missing at this stage oops is uh Power low. Uh, can't fit under there um the bit we're missing is uh obviously the fuel lines but jetpack low don't fail on me now jetpack I need you just for a minute longer then you can give up Too few, yes, I'm gonna have one too few. Of course, I'm gonna have one too few. Damn, okay, well, for a minute, let's because I want that to connect there. There we go, right. Can't really see the LED hugely well, but I'm hoping that we'll be able to see well enough behind it. Okay, and then this one becomes, um, Oops, no, I don't want to do that, I want to name it. I'm going to call that Dispenser Furnace 1, because that is going to dispense anything into Furnace 1. Um, okay, so there is a little bit more setup. I can just finish on these, because I can point this at Advanced Furnace 1, and this at Advanced Furnace 1, and this at... LED 
that should have been called LED1. It's about to be... Okay. There we go, so all of this is, get, will get replicated. Actually, I could have moved. Yeah, I've done that in slightly wrong place. But all of this will get replicated probably here for Furnace 2 and somewhere near here for Furnace 3. Um, and that's fine, but once that's actually hooked up to gas, in theory, it will be possible now. You can see for stuff to come out of here, go round, go round, go round, and then if this is set correctly, to be directed down and into the furnace. Um, obviously it needs gas, and it needs something to do with the output, um, which will f probably feed the output up and tuck it in and up behind the back here and just for now throw it in that corner and those will all merge up from all the other furnaces as we go um, but uh, that is, is close but then obviously I've got to fit all of these yet so um, definitely still some work to do um, but um, also definitely good progress for one albeit very long episode um, I will try and keep them a little bit shorter in future. Anyway, hopefully uh, that's been an interesting start to um, some complexity on this build um, and I hope next time I'll have enough raw materials to be able to um, really take you through the uh, the software side uh, once we've got the rest of the IC chips in place. Um, as I say, the, uh, the furnace control ones um, will be replicated for each furnace and then it's a question of having a uh, layer of management software effectively over the top um, to move between uh, the buttons that you see over here um, and request from that vending machine um, and feed to one of the what will be many furnaces um, and um, actually just then make the right thing and give it to us which I haven't figured out what we'll do with after that but you know that's the start. Um, so that's definitely all we've got time for this time i uh, hope you've enjoyed it um if you're not a subscriber and you've enjoyed it it'd be great if you subscribe to the channel um and uh if you've got any comments as always leave them in the comments section uh, i am filming this a few weeks ahead uh, so sometimes it takes me a little while to respond to your comments um or you may i may respond to the comment but you may not see anything in the actual video for a few episodes um but i do try to read them all and incorporate bits of feedback or questions from people um as i go um, and one of the definite bits of feedback i've been seeing is a desire for more uh, IC code, MIPS code, um, so I will be trying to do some more of that in the rest of these episodes. Anyway, uh, until next time, um, have a good one and I'll see you on the next episode.